Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruchah Kodash, Jabalan, and to the apostles of Great Millstone, who are on the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation, to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So, um, you know, uh, we had a, 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 a sorry, no, standoff yesterday. Uh, which was July 3rd, 2021, on Saturday over there in uh, Massachusetts. And um, come to find out, it was a group of about eight men that called themselves the Rise of the Moors, all right? So there was a you know a group of, of Jakes that uh, were heavily armed, and they had a um, standoff with the, with the uh, I don't know if it was a, the state police or the city police or whatever, the police over there in uh, Massachusetts. Um, you know, and this is a uh, article, well, not an article, a, a news clip, you know, speaking about this uh, group that just, you know, come, came out of nowhere. And now, you know, they were um, in a situation where it's another so-called black militant group that is um, standing up for so, some, some type of sovereignty. And it's all, all making it surrounding the uh the the demonization of you know the the truth okay because in this clip what you're going to see that this guy even though they were calling themselves the moors all right there they're rocking a uh moroccan flag he holds up the bible and that's the thing like all these different groups whether it be the nfac um you know this this group the rise of the moors um you know and, and, and other various groups that are, are trying to, you know, make some political change here in Babylon, all right, and, and, and gathering up some, gathering up Jake's, um, they all, they all want to tie their, themselves, are show, are seen to tie themselves to the Bible, when the Bible speaks completely contrary to, you know, gathering up physical arms in these times that we're in to, uh, you know, combat your enemy. All right, which the scripture says specifically, which I'll get that in the book of Hebrews, the fourth chapter, 12th verse. It says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and, it, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So this is all we need, man. All we need is, is the word of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. And this is why this devil is cut, okay? Because the word cuts you sharper than any any two-edged sword. All right, this is why this devil is is you know coming out with these agent provocateurs, okay? You know, persisting with the demonization of the 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 holy scriptures, okay? With our you know our remembrance of who we are in the land of our captivity, pursuant to prophecy, because he is being cut to the spirit. And he is being uh, revealed, all right? He is being revealed as the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And that is a direct uh, blow to his to his kingdom, all right? The fact that his, uh, his skirt is being uplifted is bringing down his, his kingdom. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse um, 8, it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And that's all the Lord needs, man. Okay, all he needs is the ones that's going to stand up, stand in the gap, okay, and stand up against the evildoers and speak the words of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. And from the beginning, you know, from the time of Moses, when he, when the Lord sent Moses to Pharaoh, all Moses had to do was speak the words and the Lord did the rest. And that's how this wicked is being revealed by the, by the spirit of, Okay, of the of of the of Yahweh Shai's mouth, which he put his word in our in our, in our mouth to speak these things, man. And and things are happening in the world, and this devil is seeing that, which is why he is now making this whole narrative of, you know, uh, uh, so-called black militants are increasing and rising, and they're dangerous, and they're speaking, you know, what they call a religious extremist, and you know, military, you know, militant extremists, and this, this, and that. When 
the true man of Yahweh Bashi now is shy. And we don't we don't speak about that at all. All right. So it says, and shall and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's the return of Yahweh Shai and the holy angels, which is also something that is being more uh the Lord is showing more and more of in these last days. So let's listen to this. This is coming from CBS Boston. It says Jamal Latimer identified as leader of group of Wakefield standoff suspects called Rise of the Moor. All right, and, and we know that in history, the who were the Moors? All right, the Moors were the Israelites that was just in that, you know, uh, uh, Islamic, uh, Muslim so called uh, uh, religion. But when you go into history, the Moors, they built, the, you know, the, the Spain, all right, the. Uh, they came out with, you know, um, you know, uh, math, you know, a bunch of di different things, you know, modern day. I think it was modern day math, if I'm not mistaken. All right. The uh, the sewer system. So let's just uh, listen to this. According to their website, the rise of the Moors is based in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. They say their goal is informing all Moors of their political status here in the U.S. The group also believes that Moorish Americans are the, quote, aboriginal people of the land to which the sovereign power is vested. State Police Colonel Christopher Mason says today that troopers are trained to deal with these types of situations. I didn't have any knowledge about this particular specific group. Um, however, uh, the state police, it is not unusual for us to counter people uh, that have sovereign citizen ideologies. I'm not saying that this group does, um, but we have had those encounters before in the past. We train to those encounters. Uh, we very much understand, uh, in, you know, the, 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 I guess the philosophy that underlies that mindset. And, um, and we train our officers actually at the academy on, on these interactions and how to de-escalate those situations and how to engage with people that have that, that philosophy and mindset and resolve those situations uh, you know, in a peaceful manner. The group has been very active on social media, posting videos and photos quite frequently. Our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, takes a closer look now at the group's online activity. Invest it's a lot here, and, and you see... You know, that's that's another way that they're trying to, you know, link all all these different groups to the, uh, you know, and put the truth into the into that group as well, because online, you know, the the internet is open to everybody, you know, so anybody can can go on the internet and claim to be a part of a group or have a certain belief or ideology, and take that state that, but then do something co totally contrary to that actual belief in, in ideology, all right? So that's why you had the whole thing with Ortho uh, Wallace when he got, um, when he, when they, you know, allegedly when he shot that cop, you look at his attire, he had on, um, he had on a, a, a it looked like a, a daishiki or, you know, something to that effect, but he also, on, at the bottom of it, he had fringes on. When you go to his social media, the social media spoke about being a son of Yah and, and you know, and it said, Kwam Yasharali, okay? So these people, whether they be agents for Esau or agents for Satan, they can tie them, to, or they can make it seem as though they're a part of something, but if they don't do the words that the Lord said, which let me get that real quick, uh, I believe that's uh, Luke. go Luke 6 verse uh, 46 and why call ye me call, why call ye me Lord Lord and do not the things which I say all right you can't call on the, the 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 name of the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob and his son all right you can't claim the name of Yahweh why Yahweh shy and do not the things that he said but see you have a lot of people that do that, all right. And this is how you want to know the 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 um, what is the scripture says the, a good tree, you know, and good fruit from you know evil fruit. The Lord said, "Well, you should know my you should know my my fruits. You should know my disciples by the by their fruits." 
All right, let's get that also. In the book of uh, Matthew chapter 6, it's Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. And that comes in all types of different forms and facets, man. Whether it be these so called Christian pastors, all right, or these uh, Israelite leaders that do not teach the complete and un un unadulterated uh, truth of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, all right, and lead the sheep astray. You see? That's why Yahweh Shai spoke about in this chapter that what? That broad is the gate and, and you know, wide is the way that leadeth to many to destruction. Verse 7, verse 16, he said, You should know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And this right here is an evil fruit. Okay? There's this whole lies of the Moors. All right, that whole ideology of being Moorish is an evil fruit. Because they don't, they they see themselves as being their own sovereign. When you go into their their, their own sovereign, you know, leader and, and things of that nature. But when you go into the scriptures, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai is our sovereign leader, is our Lord, is our king, is the one that who we should be following. All right. We we get our our laws and our statutes and our you know constitution, our heritage from him. But these guys take it upon themselves and, you know, as the scripture says, being wise in their own conceits. Which is going to lead to, to, to ultimately their destruction if they're not, you know, agent provocateurs, which I believe through the spirit, you know, they are, man. Okay, you're going to have some people that are actually um, sincere about these type of movements. But then you have other people that are legit being paid off by the government and they showed you that in the booth in the movie um judas and the black messiah all right so let's continue investigation of the rise of the moors organization and just in case you didn't see the first video we have three guns this is jamal latimer also known as talib abdullah bay he posted this youtube video just last month sources say latimer is the self-proclaimed head of the group of heavily armed men arrested on route 95 in wakefield They've identified police and anybody who wanted to um, uh, place them under arrest as terrorists. And they talked about tactically attacking police officers who were attempting to do their duty. We have the right to travel as long as we're not making any unnecessary stops. Latimer live streamed the standoff with state police and online claims to be the Moorish American consular post head, part of the Moorish American arms and the co-founder of Rise of the Moors, which the website says is a non-profit educational group. I've been elected Grand Sheik um, of the Narragansett Territory, which most people know it as, uh, know it as Rhode Island. Latimer also claims he and his followers are not U.S. citizens, are American nationals, fly the Moroccan flag, and told police they were going to a training camp in Maine. You can just uh, attribute to rhetoric. Um, they, they, what they're saying after they get caught is simply an attempt to position themselves publicly as uh, poor, unfortunate people that are just exercising their constitutional rights. There's a thin veil. Uh, over what they're really doing, which is training as terrorists. The Southern Poverty Law Center says followers. Now you see that? And this, this is this is what it's all about. They want to have this image of a Jake with a beard. Okay, it looks like he got his head wrapped in a um. Uh, damn, what's the what's the name of it? Salakia. It's just escaping me right now. Not a not a turban, but a um. Uh, um, Amish, Amish, uh, Amish, Salak, I can't remember how to pronounce it, Salak, yeah. if it comes back to me, then I'll say it, but, you know, have this, once again, a Jake with a beard, and he hold, he's holding up, what, the Bible, and then right before that, they said, what, that they're, they are, uh, it's a thin veil of what they really are, which is a, uh, a, a terrorist, a terroristic group, and then they show this, and this is the next image that they show, right? Because ultimately, what this devil is doing is painting a narrative, painting a picture 
using the media, all right, the medium to see, let the population, the people see that this right here is the new face of terrorists. This right here is the new face of people that are armed and dangerous. And they got the Bible, then they got a gun in the background, which these two things have nothing to do with one another. All right, and you just had um, that other uh, Israelite group, okay, uh, I believe it was the Sakari, that they're going out and, and speaking about, you know, uh, um, um, arming themselves up, man. Which the Lord, once again, did not speak about, <laughs> you really think you're going to do something against Esau's army? What did, you know, I did a video a couple of weeks ago, or last week, where Joe Biden said, if, if you want to go against the government, you want to need F-13, F, uh, F-15s and some nuclear nuclear missiles. And none of you jakes got that, man. <laughs> All right? None of you got that. But once again, this is what the, the imagery that Esau wants to put out and have the people uh, believe is the face of, of terrorism because ultimately when they come down with that great wrath against the men of the Lord, they want to look as being justified. They want to look as being doing the right thing, all right, because they're going to have it. To, they want to have it to make it seem like we are some type of a terroristic group. All right, let's get this here in the book of John, the 16th chapter, 16 verse 1. These things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. They should put you out of, out of the synagogues. Yeah, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that they will think that he doeth the most high service. So you're going to have a time where people are going to try to physically kill us. But even right now, this is them trying to kill, you know, kill our character. All right. Kill our, uh, our, uh, uh, you know, our, once again, uh, our character trying to make us seem as being something that we're not. And using guys like this, once again, whether set up or not, to be the forefront, to be the face of this, man. You just had last week or a week and a half ago, the whole thing happened with Ortho Wallace. And then now you got this? Come on, man. <laughs> We're not ignorant of Satan devices. We see right through this devil in AA. And, and the Lord is going to defend us, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to stand up for his elect, his chosen. The Lord is making it plain. He's making it very clear that he's going to have this devil come down, all right, but the ones who were sincere about the, 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 the truth, the ones who stood up for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, he's going to show his power in, in those individuals, man. Isaiah 29, verse 20, uh, 20, it says, For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed. All that watch for iniquity are cut off, that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. And turn aside the just for a thing of naught. And this is what they're doing. They're trying to lay a snare for us that reproveth at the gate. And we go to the chief place of concourse, prophesying and, and prophesying uh, to our people to repent, to turn from their wickedness, telling them about the days and the judgments that are coming to this place. All right. And they're trying to make us an offender for that. But they can't come straight at us. So they got to create these different uh, situations and scenarios so that. They can deceive the people into thinking that we just got to lump all these people in all together. All right. Because they're all, you know, have this ideology that is uh, that is dangerous. OK, this is book of Jeremiah 30, verse seven at last for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that he is speaking about the elect. All right. And this is why you had Sleepy Joe came out. And said, talked about what, um, uh, snitching on any uh, friends or relatives that you may feel that is, uh, you know, extremist. You have Facebook came out with some uh, um, an alert and say that what you may have been exposed to extremists or you may have extremist friends. You know, if you believe that somebody is in this, in, uh, somebody is like this, you know, contact this, 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 and that for for more information on what to do. So, hey, man, hey, and, and, and as Paul said, we have made fully known our doctrine, all right? Uh, where is that? Let's see. All right, we have made full known the, the, the gospel and the doctrine. Uh, man, let's see, fully. Here we 
go. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 10. It says, But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience. Okay? You hey, we are out here, we put up our videos, we, we say what name the, the name that we're coming in, the name of the of the Heavenly Father Yahweh and the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. We explicitly denounce and and, and uh reprove this type of behavior. But <laughs> But, and, you know, we don't suffer as, as thieves and murderers, you know, none of these things. But yet, this devil is still going to try to come down with that wrath, man, upon the ones that fear the Lord, Jacob's trouble. You know our manner of life, that we're not some niggas and, and some dangerous group of people. You know what our purpose is, all right? I shall bear my indignation until until the uh, the Lord defends and fight for us. Our faith in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. In our patience in Revelations 13, verse 9 and 10. Okay, you know what we're waiting for, and you know how we're waiting for it. But while we're waiting, we have to speak the words of the Lord, man, to, to bring down the uh the strongholds that this devil has put upon the, 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 the minds of our people. Okay, but once again, them doing that in this is showing you that they're at that they're they're shook, man. They're at the end of so like they're at the end. Of their of their rulership, man, and this is why you're going to see this happening more and more and more, right? Until this devil completely comes out with it and just says, "Hey, we got to come after all these guys," and that's when the Lord's going to lift up that standard, man. But you got to be one of the ones that the Lord said is worthy to stand before Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai in that day to escape these things. All right, you gotta you gotta uh, uh, make your call in an election short now, because you can clearly see that the, that the doors of repentance are closing, and, and and the time of of Jacob's trouble, the time of persecution is at hand. And once that happens, you ain't gonna be able to just sit at home and and you know watch watch videos to get you know edif edification and, and build up your spirit. You gotta do that while there may be time. Seek you the Lord while He may be found. Okay, so let's uh, finish this out. Sovereign citizens movement believe they are independent of the authority of state and federal government. <laughs> when you look at what happened last night and you add to that the video that I just saw from a month ago, these are dangerous guys that have to be taken very seriously. Latimer was arrested by the Rhode Island State Police in early 2020 for obstructing a police officer, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. Court records show the case appears to be pending. Rhode Island State Police tell us they are well aware of the group and, along with Maine officials, are in communication with the Massachusetts State Police. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Stay with WBZ for complete coverage of the standoff in Wakefield. We'll have the latest tonight at 11 here on WBZ Channel 4, but you can get breaking news anytime on your phone by using the WBZ mobile. Okay, so, you know, there it is, man. All right, there it is. So, understand that you have been warned through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai that these things were coming, okay? <laughs> and, and they are here. Let's get that real quick. It's Ezekiel 13, verse 7. So, like it, Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right? And we have given the warning that the Lord has um, ordained us to give to our people. And now the time is coming where the words of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh are going to become scarce on the earth. All right? The scripture says it tells you that there's going to be a famine of, the, of, of hearing of the word of the Lord. Okay? So you're playing these games. You're thinking that you know, you just got time to, to, to BS and, and slack off and be lukewarm. All right. Hey, the Lord is showing you that this is we're coming into the time, as as Yahweh Shai said, as the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter said, a time as never before. And we're going to need divine intervention in order to be delivered from these from these things, man, from these said perils. And the Lord is only going to bring that divine intervention to the ones who have truly sought his face, has truly repented. Okay, and kept the faith of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, man. So this is the book of Ezekiel 31 or 33, verse, uh, I'll start at, let's go straight to the point, verse uh, 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, all right? It will come. The scripture tells you that what? For it is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, 
and not lie, and it's speaking. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Okay, you have had prophets among you that the Lord has sent, rising up early, singing them, showing you, telling you that this is the right way. Walk ye in the path thereof. But yet you want to be in this in this path, man. You want to you want to be amongst this this type of you know <laughs> stupidity. All right, or you just want to be in the world and fulfill the lust of your flesh. Well, guess what, man? The Lord got something. As Yahweh Shai said, my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right, so you know I end that there. Once again, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai. Hey, the, 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 the time is coming, man. Shalom.